Prazer! <laughs> brr, brr, brr. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all the Sims games for the Sony PlayStation 2. Sims, the console game released in 2003, was the first time the game was ported on consoles. You create your houses and do the typical Sims stuff and the game also has the Get a Life mode, where you start at your mother's house and progressively get out of it and start a new family. You also get a classic Sims mode and the controls are great too. They actually nailed it to make a mouse based game feel good on a console controller. The Sims Bustin Out has a weird plot. A white guy named Malcolm with a bazooka that shoots sound waves capable of making stuff disappear haunts the neighborhood and makes people's stuff disappear, including yours. Your job in the Busting Out game mode is to complete objectives to climb the ladder of society and get Malcolm's mansion and bust him out so that the evildoer will lose his lair. You start the game again at your mom's house, the career objectives are simple here at first, but later on you will have some tough choices to make, whether you want to keep some friendships or not, or if you want that promotion or you want to change your career. And the game also has free play, where you can play the classic sims game, where you create your own house and get to control every member of the house, you know the classic mode. But in addition to the classic mode, you also have a game mode with a plot. The herb sims in the city makes you do the career mode in a different fashion than before. Now the focus of the game is to have clothes fitting to the trend and make a good network of friends. You will have to interact with people of different categories like thugs or bikers. The game looks sad just like the poor urban neighborhood stereotype implies. In rest as activities you get stuff like being trendy, man maintaining your reputation or fending off bullies. Also interactions are now color coded. That way if you've chosen one category of people you will see with whom you can interact with and with whom it isn't as great of an idea to interact with or people who are incompatible with you when talking to them. People who are compatible with you appear with green, those with whom there is a small chance to be compatible appear with yellow and the red ones are incompatible. The Sims 2 is the most popular Sims game, so I'll try to talk only some essentials that will be useful to someone that is familiar with The Sims 2. Ok, so for starters, the console version doesn't have some features the PC one has. It doesn't have pregnancies, the characters don't age and you don't get any two story buildings. Everything is at ground floor, you don't get any upper floors. Another difference between the console version and the PC one is that the console version has a storyline. Well, not in the traditional sense, it doesn't have cutscenes or a narrative, but you get a set of goals to aspire to, that make you go into a certain direction with your character. Also, they added a really great feature on the console. In this game you can control your character with the joystick too. You can also select with the cursor like before, but using the joystick for your character feels better. Death is also different from the PC version. Here when you die, you transform into a ghost that can puke or possess and haunts the residents of the house. You can bring the character back to life by bribing the Grim Reaper and after resurrecting, you can die again if you dance on your grave. And The Sims 2 Pets isn't as goal oriented as the PC game but rather it's like some sort of free play mode, but with pets. You control only the humans, not the animals, and get to take care of your pets. There are again differences between the PC and console version, like for example here there are no deaths. If you starve your animal to death, they will just faint, pets cannot get jobs or enter competitions, or that there are no werewolves, ghosts or skunks in the console version. But luckily for you, if you buy a chicken from the town market, you will still be able to play chess with it. And if you win, you win a golden egg, but it is known how hard it is to win against the chicken. Oh, and as pets, you can get a dog, a cat, 
a piglet puff, a cross, which is a cross between a guinea pig and a hamster in a cage. But they escape easily from their cage. Or if you really want to play casual, you can get a goldfish. The Sims 2 Castaway is the classic Sims game, but with a way different setting. You get stranded on an island and have to survive. As usual, you get to customize your character from a big variety of presets. The game gives you the Robinson Crusoe feel, meaning that you get to collect fruits and see which are poisonous and which are not. You eat coconuts, you also can fish, you build yourself a shelter, you build a raft and explore the surroundings, and you interact with the other people that got shipwrecked. Also, aside from people, you can befriend with monkeys too. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. I've left the links to those in the video description. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and till we read thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.